guys, I'm out here at Corralbin with me mate Jim Bob. We're filming Trapnel Racing, their family day today. So it should be quite interesting. It's gonna be a lovely day, it's pretty hot out here, but hey, they're just gonna have to rest their cars every now and then and see how they go, eh? Sounds like fun, let's go find them. Let's go. What have you brought to us today? This is awesome. It's a 1955 FE Holden. Uh, this thing holds up well. <laughs> How long have you had it for? I've only had it for about four years, five years. Okay, is it a Queensland car? Or? <laughs> it was originally built, yeah, in Queensland. Originally raced at Surface Paradise International Raceway. It was still alive. The guy, Peter Pallet, was the guy that originally built it. Okay. He raced it down there. So you're still enjoying it? Yeah. yeah. So. Today we're just out here for Trapnell's birthday, so yeah. how do you get one of his good mates or? No, I'm the father. Oh, you're his father? So that's why he's got a fast <laughs> car, right? That's me, that's me baby's yeah. 50th. Yeah. It's pretty scary, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But no, your car pulled up amazing on your first run there. So yeah. no offence, I was a little bit surprised how well it took off on no prep, but you really know how to pedal this thing. Yeah. No. What's it got in it? 383. 383? Yeah. Okay. And what box are you running? Glide, power glide. Power glide. Dana 60 diff. Okay, nice. And this is just family built now? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So keep it in the front of the family. Yeah, yeah. Well, and the engine shops. So. Yeah, engine shops. Yeah, can't yeah. complain with that, it's, can it you? It can be hard on the engines. Yeah. <laughs> Hey right, mate, well I uh, hope to see you out there again and we'll, yeah, let's we'll go be. have a good day. Yeah, Cheers you. buddy. <laughs> So we're out here with the birthday boy Jeff. Thanks heaps for coming. Anytime Nathan. Thanks for letting me come out. Mate, your car's beautiful. You've had one run already. How did you go? Mate, it's been a long, I've had this car for a long time. I had a whole bunch of fun. I've not actually raced it with the blower. I've yep. only had power skidded at power cruise. Thought, that's why I thought I'd come out here and have some fun. So you actually build engines. So yes. you're trapnel racing. Yes. Business is good at the moment. 
business is really good. Yeah. Really busy. Well, what else could people do in, in, during COVID? It's just mate, build their car. COVID made, made me so busy and so tired. Yeah. So today's your birthday. Yes, it is. I'm Happy 50. birthday. So all this is for you. Yep. So you must have a few friends or people that just like racing. I just got people like racing. No, okay. no. I've got long time friends. Yeah. Like, but, it's very, I'm very overwhelmed with the people that actually do care. Yeah. Well, mate, when you called me and asked me about if you could do a little birthday thing, I expected a little birthday thing. But this is clearly not it. Well, mate, I actually tried to narrow the numbers down. I had a whole bunch of, not 100 people who wanted to come, I know. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted a nice, quiet thing, and this is quiet for us. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> I want to know about this car. Mate, this car, I've actually had it since 1989. Okay. I bought it when I was in high school. Yep. I did it up for the first time in 93. Um, we built it in six weeks for the Brisbane Hollywood Show. And I've just given it a birthday in the last 12 months. Brand okay. new paint. This is the first showing and anything is going to be on videos today. Okay. It's um, So what motor we got in this? Mate, we got a 383 Chev. Yeah. Um, dart block, dart heads. Okay. All the good internals. Obviously being an engine builder. 671 with a bird hat on it. Okay. So. It sounds sweet. So you've only had one run so far, so I can't wait to see it do a few more. Yeah, we'll get back out there soon. Yeah. What so. box are you running in this? Turbo 350, full okay. manual. Yep. So is that a new build too, or is no, that? No, it's an older bit, older okay. new box. I've had it for a while. Yep. Um, it's built very, it's a big dollar box. Okay. Obviously, being a 350, everyone says, why do you got a three, Turbo 350? I said, they got a really good first gear, they're yeah. nice to drive. Okay. What diff you running in this? Mate, tank fairlane nine inch. Oh, okay. So it's the rock. Uh, it actually was a little bit too wide. We've taken 15 mil off to get the, the wheels under it. Yep. Nice. And what wheels are you running on this? Craig uh, Pro Stars. Okay. Old school, mate. Mate, they look amazing. It really fits the part, doesn't it? It's a true no prep car. So, and then you then you actually go inside. The interior is still from 1968. Do you mind if I have a look? Uh, no problem. Come have a look. So the interior is still 1968. That's a beautiful interior in that. Okay, we've got a set of Mickey Thompson's 265s on it. Yep. Um, 15B8. It actually does fit 275s on oh, it. Oh, you can get them in there with no scrubbing? No scrubbing. Okay. Modified leaves in it. Yep. Um, done by Protrack Suspension. He's just set them up with a good rate so it actually sinks. Okay. Um, good good um, shocky. I actually don't know what brand he's put them in there for me. I know yeah. it's got conies in the front. Yep. So. Okay. So uh, I guess I better let you get out there and have a few more runs. Yeah. And then are we doing any power skids today? Oh, hell yeah. Good to see. Happy birthday, mate, and thanks Thank for coming. Much. Nathan, how are you? Good, mate. Greg. Greg? Trappy, as they call me. 
Trappy, so you're yeah, out here for your brother's birthday, eh? I know, no, the old fool's turned 50. But uh, it's nice of him that he wanted to bring his family and friends out here and organise yeah. all this. Yeah, it is. It's good, yeah. Yeah, because... Uh, cooled it down a bit for us. a bit oh, light out here. There was a little bit of breeze before. Yeah, I know, yes. But tell me what's going on. Everyone says you've got a reputation of running out of fuel <laughs> and not fueling up. <laughs> true, true. Are your lungs on? Um, I don't know. I've lost words on that one. We fueled it up to come here. Get it on the track and it's got no fuel in it. Someone stole it last night. They're probably playing tr no. tricks on me, I reckon. <laughs> but apparently it's your reputation. It is, it is. But I reckon we is. get past that. And you tell me what beast you got here. Uh, it's a 62 Biscayne uh, Impala as such. Yeah. It is actually a Biscayne. Um, Jeffrey built engine, TR engine. Okay. 596 or something, or 586 this one. Okay. Um, nitrous, obviously. We've only just put the second kit on now. It's all new. Okay, so we're running two kits now, are we? Not today. Not today? Yes, not today. We'll put one on today. If it comes around, track comes around a little bit. Yeah. We get get the back to stick, we'll put turn the second one on. And because uh, we're going to Sydney in a couple of weeks for no prep down there. So. Okay, you are heading down to Sydney yeah. for that, are you? Yep, yep. Okay. So we'll sneak out here for a quick test. Yep. Test here. So what box are you running behind this thing? Uh this one's a power glide, two speed power glide. Okay. Uh, it's brand new too. Okay. Um proper proper hard um case and everything like that we usually run a standard case and sink for years okay so we'd finally step her up yep so um yeah and two three diff? power glide nine inch bladder nine bar inch. rear wrench okay old school um, nine inch full, full floater 40 spine full floater okay um, and what have we done with the suspension that's all pretty pretty still standard setup yep um just got coil overs in it okay all standard front end and it's still street car yeah yeah totally street car <laughs> yeah Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, legit, okay. that one, yeah. Yeah, legit. Yeah. So, man, let's have a bit of a walk around yeah, it. Yeah. No, that's a legit exhaust there, isn't it? That's factory. Factory. That must yeah, be factory. factory. Yeah. yeah. Um, we had a bit of a fire with that too. All the fuel come out, puddled in the workshop, and boom, when it started, it all caught on fire. The workshop's on fire. Oh, really? Yeah, Jeffrey burned all his hairs on his legs. So, mate, if we look behind us here, this is proving your reputation. <laughs> this reputation is really proving yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's crew chief Danny. <laughs> yeah, he's doing a good job yeah, there. Yeah, For those who know, yeah. Mate, what do you got underneath the back of this? Um, looks like some gravel and a bit of grass. <laughs> There's 16 inch wide tyres on it now. Street tread, because you're not allowed slicks out here. What a joker. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, like I say, full floater now. It's really awkward to get those wheels out of there, as you can imagine. Oh, you've okay. got to drop the whole diff out, all the shockies out, um, crossbar out. just to change So we're not wheels. changing overlay to do some skid tyres? Not tires. today. Not but today? yesterday it had radials on it. Oh, okay. So we changed everything, all the suspension set up and everything. All the ride height, everything gets changed from radial to slick, so it okay. takes a couple of days to, to turn the car around and turn into a slick car. Okay. Uh, so, street tire car. I see the most important things in the boot here. It is, mate, yes. Right so. Sponsored by NS. 85 there, and we got um, some special um, nitrous fuel mixes with it up the front tank as well. Okay. We got our little batch, these things here go to a battery outside to warm our bottles when they're cold. Okay. So, yeah, we're full high tech in this car. <laughs> they just hang out the boot. <laughs> um, <laughs> you, you reckon you're going to have to use the chute today? Only if that plane comes back at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay, mate. Well, uh, I reckon you get out there and show us what this thing can do. Hopefully, it can turn some tyres this time. <laughs> Too easy. Thanks, mate.
mate, we're here again. We're talking, catching up again. Yeah, so I assume you built this car too. Yes, apparently. This okay. is my brother, Greg's. Oh, okay. So he says he builds them all, yeah. He pretty well sits at the fridge and drinks and I do most of it. <laughs> and but, So he drinks all day and he doesn't fuel his car. What? So you literally run the whole business? Yeah, I pretty well run the, the business, the race cars. Fair like he even forgets what it's in the engine, so I have to, to remind him every time. Okay. We nice. did an interview a couple of years ago, a street machine for his HQ. Yeah. And it took 20 takes for him to actually get the right parts in his engine. <laughs> so what have you actually built for him in this? Mate, this has got a big block Chevy, 520 cube. Yep. It's got a set Brodex heads on it, uh, 871. Big and ugly, as you can see. Like the car. <laughs> you don't like the car? I love the car. You love the car. What is it? It's a 74 Monte Carlo, Chevy Monte Carlo. Dock off um, the Street Outlaws, that car he rolled, that yep. was a Monte Carlo. Okay. But that was a 72. Yep. Uh, so this is pretty much standard, like there's no roll cages or anything? There's no this. roll cage. The only thing that's not standard is fiberglass bonnet. Okay. But guys, you've got to have a look at this. You can tell Americans are built for fat people because Oh my god, it is stuffed in. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Fat or not, I'd still use that. Standard shifter. Try and make it as original as we can. Factory sunroof? Or? Factory sunroof. Okay, it's got all electric, the bells and whistles. Electric isn't it? windows. Wow. So it's really got it all. Yeah, mate, yeah. What are we running under the back of this thing? Mate, we've got a um, not, uh, sheet metal 9 inch. Yep. All floating um, race products, okay. floaters. That's one thing we do do with all our cars. We try to put a good dip in them yep. so we don't see them break wheels and take out rear guards. Yep. It's got a power glide in it. Um, we were going to dyno it this week. We haven't got the dyno it, but I'm pretty sure I've got a tune in it to make about 800, 900 of the wheels. Okay. Mate, little rumour told me that you and your brother are going to America next year. Mate, yeah, we're going to go to America in February. Go okay. play with our purple HQ over there. Okay, so it's still over there. Where, yep. is, where do you have that sitting? Mate, that's sitting at San Diego. Okay. It's actually, we've got a mate that works over there. He used to do with Crower Camshafts. It's in his girlfriend's shed. We've never met her. And we that, don't even know where it is. And it's in her shed. But we okay. trust him with our life, so. But it's got no motor in it at the moment. No, it? no, the motor. We, we were trying to bring the car home few issues happen. Yep. The engine's in my workshop, the car's in America, and our tow car's in Texas, so. It's the first time in, what, three years you'll be going? Yeah. Yes. Okay. It was June 2019 was the last time I was there. Okay, and how did this go in 2019? Um, we had a little bit of fun. We went to race week, Rocky Mountain race week. Uh, we unfortunately burnt up a piston on the nitrous, we had a fuel pump failure. Yep. And um, the safety didn't catch it in time. Okay. So it's because it's running 605 Cuba, still um, staggered injection like the red car. Okay. Uh, but we've got two stages of nitrous with poly ECU on it. Yeah, okay. So it should be a good week over there, but you'll probably be spending three or four weeks over there, yeah. won't you? Yeah. Going well, to pick up cars, trucks. and. Greg will go over and spend five weeks over there, pick everything up. Yeah. I'll fly in like two weeks before get the car together. Okay. So you got to go over and do the work and yeah. he'll sit at the fridge? Over there, I make him the run around. Oh, okay. He'll go out for half an hour and come back six hours later. Okay. Well, pick up some spark plugs. Yeah, pretty much. He, uh, he, well, he, here he, he is now. He, he knows, knows we're talking it. about him, eh? He knows that he gets to run around and goes for 10 years. <laughs> We've actually got something pretty special today. We've got the best of three Trapnel boys. So we've got Rob, father, yeah. we've got Jeff, and we've got Baden, son. Elder so son. we're gonna start off with uh, you two guys. I'm and, gonna kick his ass. He's got uh, nothing. And then the one that wins gets to verse Pops. So they're gonna get their ass handed to them because we've seen him racing it and he's done pretty well. Hey, I tried to race him before. I took all the track up to make sure he didn't get past. Yeah, we saw that. It's a little bit of sideways action, push him off if he came in close. Do you reckon you got the younger generation? I hope so. You hope so? <laughs> well, if he doesn't run me off the track again. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. I reckon you'll get First away this time. First time I've to back off all day. Oh, really? <laughs> Alright, so uh, we'll get you two boys suited up. Yep. 
we'll get the race out and then we'll verse pops and uh you have to win it's your birthday i know but you know you gotta give it to the old people sometimes you're racing the gds mm -hmm. you're racing 62 chev nice and the old beast the old okay. FE. yeah it's gonna be a good race so i reckon we get out there and yeah, see what happens let's do it who do you reckon's got it mate <laughs> Jeff. Jeff's got it. For one, his son's going to let him win on his birthday yeah. if he has a chance. No, I don't think so. You reckon? Uh, what do you reckon, Cole? It's hard to say, really. If he pulls up, that Panara will go all right. Yeah. But yeah, no, definitely the red one. Yeah. <laughs> That was a bit of an interesting race. Uh, Baden really got it handed to him. So we'll see how birthday boy Jeff goes up against uh, his dad. So mate, uh, apparently your GDS doesn't get traction. I did see a bit of smoke behind me. You did see it behind you? Yeah, I glanced was back. Was that on the side or from behind you? I had to turn my head a long way to <laughs> see the, any sort of silver. <laughs> Hey, what do you expect? Something like that with a dirty old street tire? Yeah. As long as he's having some fun. That's all that matters. Yeah. All right, mate. Well, it looks like you're taking on pop. Yeah, I think I better bring something out of the bay to try and beat him this time. Okay. Well, uh, we'll go and talk to Baden and then uh, we'll see you versus your dad. Okay. Was that a fun power skid? Oh, it was. It was? Yeah. Well, yeah. I figured I had no chance, so I may as well have fun. We actually <laughs> predicted that. We're just like, you know what? <laughs> He, he looks like he's just half out yeah, fun. Absolutely. If you're not having fun, then why are you doing it? Yeah, exactly. So. Do you reckon Pop's going to let your dad win because it's his birthday? Nah, I reckon no. he's got him. You got him? I reckon he's got him. Okay. That old time has got it. That old time. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? And he's so <laughs> casual about it. Oh, too. he is. Yeah, he's, he's very relaxed. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, oh, no, well, very relaxed person. Well, that was fun. Yeah. Uh, let's go do Bloody some skids anyway. Bloody hell, Sam. So, we've got Pop versus Jeff. We'll see who wins.
That was awesome. The old man still got it. He knows how to pedal that car. And uh, we'll get him out of the car and have a talk to them. All right, so Baden, you didn't quite pull up on that one, but you still went out there and had some fun. That's it. What happened with you, mate? Mate, all I can say is, I was looking at the, the hand, saw it come down, and went, I probably should go by now. Uh, Dad was gone. So he was all over the hand drop? And... He was all over it. Yeah. The old timer still got it. Yeah. I had nothing. <laughs> I was still just thinking that I kicked his ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pop, how do you feel? Still, you still got it? Got it. <laughs> That's why. I did notice one special thing about your car. What's that? So you're a Holden, yeah. and I noticed some Falcon door handles on it. Does you that make it go faster? Path, you? That slows it down. But, oh, it slows it down, does it? So if we take them off, you'll probably yeah, have yeah. another 20, 30 horsepower? Yeah. Okay, yeah. sweet. <laughs> All right, mate. Well, thanks heaps for coming thanks out. For thanks and for thank thanks you very much. Mate. Happy thanks. birthday. Thank you. Thanks, Baden. No worries. Thank you. So thanks, I reckon guys. we get out there and have a few more runs before yeah, yeah. we run out of time, eh? Yeah, so let's go yeah. do some guys. more drag racing.
So that was pretty cool. We had son, father versus grandfather, shrapnel racing engines. They're a pretty cool bunch of people. Awesome day out with all their friends and family for Jeff's birthday. Thanks for watching this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.